Oh, that's beautiful. That is a fantastic bunker shot. Hey folks and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. I'm out here at Admiral's Green Golf Course at Pippi Park and I'm gonna play maybe nine holes or so. Sun's shining, I finally have a jacket off and uh, you know, the toque's not on. So we'll see what we can do. I'm just gonna practice, try a few swing changes and see how it goes. This is a long par five, uh, down the hill, up the hill, uh, dog legs to the right, should be fun. Let's see how it goes. All right, a little up the left side, but I think we're okay. All right, I bombed that drive. I've got about 145 left with the slope up to this back pin location. I've got an eight iron. Let's see what we can do. Looks pretty good. We could be putting for Eagle. Nice start. Very long putt here. Now these are early season greens. There's some aerating and stuff. So, you know, we take it with a grain of salt. I think this is gonna break right to left. And let's see what we can do. I'm gonna have to hit, hit them harder than that. So first green, I didn't hit the uh, practice green. So good line. I think uh, I could have got that within tap in range had I warmed up a little bit, but I just tried to squeeze on the green here. Let's see. Oh, well a par. A three putt par. Can't go wrong there. Okay, hopefully we can get a feel for the greens. My green at home is so much faster <laughs> compared to these early season real grass green. So I got to hit it a little harder. Now this is par four, 338. It's a blind shot. I've got to try and carry this hill. And the green is off to the right a little bit, but you want to stay away from the right side because there's a lot of trouble over there. There's lots of room out to the left. All right. Kind of a fade. That's going to be just fine over there. Short distance to the green. Beautiful view here. Out in number two. A really beautiful course here. Okay. I've got about 150 left to this green. Kind of ballooned that one up in the air and sliced it a bit. So I'm going to take a seven iron. And the miss is to the left. There's a tarp up on a little section of the green here. The course is just doing what they need to do to make sure all these things grow in nicely. So I'm going to aim for that tarp between the tarp and the flag. That feels really, really good. Came up short. Oh, it came up short. It was a good strike though. Oh, you know, it's really funny here. I just finished telling you I hit that drive into the wind and I didn't take that into account with the second shot. So I should have taken another club. It is into the wind, but still well struck, but left myself in a tight spot here. I've got uh, my 60 degree. I'm in pretty deep rough, quite a steep slope. I got to go up about five feet or so. I don't really want this running out too much. So I do want to open the face a little bit maybe, or I'd like to get some loft. Let's see what we can do. All right. All right, I'd say this is about 15 feet or so. I got to remember that they're rolling a little bit slower. It's tough to commit to those kind of chips this early in the season. It's getting the feel around those greens is a little tougher. And I'm used to them rolling out a whole lot more from practicing in the backyard. So. Let's give this one a little more oomph, although there's not a whole lot of grass here yet. Oh, didn't break really. You know, that's a good tip too. Aerating tends 
to break a lot less. All right, well, we have a bogey. We've got a long par three here. It's playing uh, 175 in distance to the pin, but the breeze is kind of, it's kind of into us, kind of from the right a little bit. It's gonna be a little tough. I'm gonna take a three hybrid and uh, just try to relax, take my time and find my swing. I wanna try and bring some of the practice that I've been working on to the course, which is difficult to do. That's a pretty good strike. Might be short. <laughs> Way short, got caught up in the wind. That's a lot of club too, so uh, we'll see. All right, a little short from the wind, but um, you know, it was a good strike, I'm happy with it. Now, this is all early season. This all needs to grow. We've had no warmth here. This is generally a really beautiful course. All the courses are kind of having this kind of stuff. So, you know, you're supposed to play the ball as it lies, but do a favor for the course. In these early season, you know, put your ball on some grass. This stuff needs to grow. So take it off there. Don't take a great big divot in that stuff. Put it on a little bit of grass and uh, do yourself a favor, do the course a favor. All right, got a little chip here. Now, even though I missed the green, this is a great opportunity to work on early season chipping. Um, you have to be positive and look for those uh, optimistic kind of opportunities. So let's see if I can just land this on the green, have it released to the hole a little bit. Just landed on the green. Oh, it actually rolled this time, but not a bad shot. Just adjust the camera angle so we're not looking in people's backyards. Now, this one rolled pretty straight past the hole. I think it's going to go towards the camera a little bit. It would be nice to hold this. But, you know, early season green, uh, air rating, you know, kind of a 50-50 chance if you have the right line or the, the right speed. So, you know, don't get overwhelmed with your putting if you're struggling on, you know, the early season greens. Just keep hitting it, keep it true, and it'll come along. Par. Boy, it really makes a difference if you just calm down a little bit and play. Don't get all built up about things. Now, uh, this is a par four. It says here 519 from the gold. It's tough too, and you can see Pippi Park has a lot of exciting things coming to the course. You can see they're, they're clearing a whole lot of the trees there to help make the corner a little bit more favorable with the wind. I don't know if I'm gonna get over that corner anyway, so I'm gonna play it out to the left a little more. But they've got new tea boxes coming in, all kinds of cool things. So we'll see that you know throughout the season on some videos that we make. But for now, let's loosen up and send a, send a tee shot out there. The wind is going to want to bring it right, so I'm going to try and send it out to the left. Loose grip, swing easy. All right, it's just curving that corner nicely. Now I can feel that I swung over the top a little bit that tried to kind of pull it over to the left but it worked out no damage done all right i might have said this was a par four it's actually a par five and i still have 285 to the pin playing 295 with the slope i'm gonna take a four wood and just try to get it up there a little bit closer and give ourselves a nice wedge into the green hopefully so a nice smooth controlled swing All right, the middle of the fairway, a little knuckly, still not transferring onto that front foot, but my orthotics came in, so we'll see if that can improve. So I already hit my shot and didn't press record by mistake, but what I was saying with these 50, 60 yard shots that are left here, uh, lately I've been taking pitching wedges and gap wedges and trying to kind of bunt them and roll them up there because the ground has been pretty wet. But I really need to practice those pitches with the 54 and the 60, uh, and the ground is a little bit drier here, so you can use the bounce a little bit more. So I'm already in there tight, but I'll hit another one here, see if we can replicate it for the sake of the video. Ooh. 
That one could be closer in the end, but we'll play the first one. <laughs> okay, so the second uh, ball was a little closer. It was about seven or eight feet or so. This one is a good 15 or 16 feet. It's gonna break down to the right here. Uh, so, you know, birdie's unlikely, but let's get it close and tap in a par. All right, a little soft. This green is a little bit more lush. It's growing pretty well. So I'm sure the uh, course management team is very happy about that. All right, we got our par. Oh, nice, we got a little otter swimming across the lake here. Very cute. Now we have a beautiful par three here over the water. It's a front pin. The pin is measuring 133. And you know, that would be a comfortable nine iron. Uh, wind is kind of going left to right. But on these trouble par threes, I like to take, you know, a little bit more club and swing a little smoother. But this will put the swing to the test if I can stay relaxed and put one in there. Well, I thinned it a bit, but that is going to be just fine. I didn't see it land. It might be just in front or it might have popped up on. Thin. Oh. Well, there's where we came from, over the water. I'd love to show you a lot more of the course, but, you know, it doesn't do any justice to the, the teams out here because it's still early season. It must have bounced into this big steep bank, rolled up onto the green, and here we are. Well, that is what we call thin to win. Now, this one looks pretty lush. Um, it's gonna break down towards the water, but I think it's still gonna be sort of slow. Boy, who knows? Just hit it. I'd be fine with just a tap in here as well. Can't get too aggressive, just let it happen. Birdie, baby. Yes! I'm playing better today than I have and pretty excited about it. Well, that birdie was nice. <laughs> this is a 500 yard par five. Yeah. And uh, it's a tough one. You know, it, it looks like really big down there, but I don't know, I have trouble hitting this with, uh, with driver. So, you know, a safe play would be, you know, a four wood or something, but I'm out here practicing, even though I have a good round going and I've been struggling lately. I shot my highest round, you know, in forever the other day. And uh, I'm not gonna get caught up in it. I'm here to work on things. So I'm gonna take the driver to try and iron out the driver. I'm not here to shoot the best score ever. And this is one of the benefits of having, you know, a membership at a course. I'm a member here at Pippi Park. And my buddy Paul Kelly posted on his Facebook about this the other day, the benefit of being able to go out and playing three holes, four holes, six holes, whatever. Uh, I like it because you don't, every round you tee up, you're not paying a green fee, you don't feel like you have to shoot a score. You can shoot from different tee boxes if you want, you can experiment. So those are, you know, good benefits of a membership. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'd like to work on the driver, so I'm going to take the risk and hit the driver. My natural flight is the fade. So, maybe just to the right side of that bunker. All right, I slipped a little bit, but it started out on our line, turning back to the middle, and we're in the middle right side of the fairway. I'm glad I took driver. Take the risk, have some fun. All right, here we are. It is a little rough, it might be fairway, but they're letting the grass grow in a little bit here. It's kind of bumpy but i think this is playable i'm not going to lift it out of this this could be considered drainage or something but it's sitting okay it's tough it's sort of on a down slope in in some longer grass and i probably should just take an iron and play it up just over the hill but i'd like to get a feel for this club so i'm going to risk it and try to go up over you know kind of the dip there maybe a little bit more over the hill on the right side because the hole turns over to the right. So I've got a long way to go. I don't even know the measurement I'm just going to hit. And the worst that could happen is kind of knuckle this and not get it up over the slope because of the down slope here. Oh, 
that's going to be in great shape over there. A little slicey with that, you know, a little aggressive swing, but uh, we're good. Okay, this rolled nicely across that bank and it came right into the middle of the fairway. There's the 100 yard marker for the center of the green right there. And uh, this is playing 92 to the pin. Uh, we're into the wind a little bit, but there's not too much wind right now. I'm going to take a gap wedge. This is a 44 degree gap wedge and play it a little softer rather than try to hit a, a 54 really hard up there. And, you know, front of the green would be nice. Ooh, I cut across it and just pulled it. But we might have just trailed off into the fringe. That's okay, came over the top. So I'm still working on that, but it's not really getting us into a whole lot of trouble. And I'm playing well, I'm even par to here, and people wouldn't believe it. I like to be honest with these course logs. It doesn't do me any favors to edit to make it look like a better player. I'm not a professional golfer. I might be an associate teaching professional, but I'm a high single digit. And, uh, you know, I'm working on a few things and even just pacing myself, even though I'm still sort of cutting across the ball, I'm taking a little bit more time, a little softer with the swing and softer with the hands, and it's paying off. It's minimizing some of the damage. So if I can get the trajectories a little bit better, then we'll just keep working on it. Okay, this is a tough one for birdie. It's going to break, you know, a little bit along that arc. I'm in what is the fringe so i think the safest play just with the early conditions is putting uh could get a couple of bounces and rolls so i just have to take that into account i feel like it's a little uphill too so i'm gonna have to be a little bit firm with this there's a little bit of grass behind the club here but i think i can manage Ooh. Needed a bit more steam. This is actually a tester. You know, it's tough when you say you're going to hit it firm and then you don't. But it's tough to get the speeds. I think I've got to play this, you know, to be about there. Uh, grain might keep it out. I'm going to actually hit it just a little less, just left edge. <laughs> it didn't break, but it dropped. You know, sometimes luck is in our favor. All right, look at this. The signature hole number seven at Pippi Park. At St. John's out there, it is beautiful. I can feel the wind now on this side of the course. It's blowing straight into us. Uh, this is playing uh, about, uh, it's 185 or so but playing about 150 with the downhill slope. This is really downhill. Uh, I expect this is going to come up short. Long is no good. I've got a six iron. I don't want to run all the way up there and grab another club. So <laughs> I had to put the camera way up on a hill so you could see it. I can't even see the flag from here. So let's just swing easy and get it down there. Now that felt like really, really good contact. Too far up in the air. Yeah, that's gonna be short and down front. But what a great shot. That felt good, gave me confidence. I gotta climb the hill. All right, I'm walking down the path here. And what do you think this is in here? Welcome to Newfoundland. It's June 1st tomorrow. And this is snow that has not yet melted in the trees. That's what we're dealing with. All right, I didn't get the camera recording fast enough, but there's bunnies running around here. I saw a fox on another hole. Great wildlife. Haven't seen a moose yet. <laughs> now this is a tough lie. It's kind of a beat up here from some carts in the wet weather. Um, they've got a tarp over there. This is a signature hole. They want it growing in nice. But again, rather than just sort of bump this up there, I want to start 
using my 60 a little bit more. Oh, it's wet. No. See, when it's wet like that, I feel like with the 60 or sand wedge, I've got to pick it really, really clean because the bounce will go straight down into the ground. So I'm actually going to grab my gap wedge. So this, I mean, it's a gap wedge, but it feels pretty low lofted. I'm going to close the face a little bit and bump it a little bit more. See if I can get it to that um, brownish area of grass that needs to grow in and, and roll it up to the hole. It's a tough shot. Stop rolling. Oh, I carried it too far. Still, that's not too bad. A par putt. Fun hole. About 10 feet for this putt. I'm not sure about the break. I feel like it wants to go this way a little bit. Uh, let's see. The grain in the grass is going that way a little bit. I'm going to kind of go straight at it. Maybe play it right edge towards the camera there a little bit. This would be nice. Oh, it went straight. But that's okay. Uh, the speed was really good. <laughs> See it settle in that little bump there? <laughs> These are actually starting to come in nice. We just need some warmth. Bogey. Okay, we're coming off a of bogey. No big deal. We're playing really well. Nothing to get upset about at all. Now, last time I was on this hole, the last two times I sliced it into the uh, a bunker that's way up there on the right. I've got a little shorts video or TikTok video kind of shows me slicing it out of that bunker. So I'd like to keep it up in the fairway to the left. I should feel like there's lots of room to the left. So we're going to hit driver. Wind is, I don't feel much of it, but it's kind of coming this way. So that should help uh, keep it from fading or slicing too much. And I'm going to try to kind of swing into the back of the ball a little bit more on this one. To keep my back to the target a little bit longer. Let's see if we can't straighten it out. All right, let's let it rip. Oh, that's beautiful. Dead straight. It's, it's working today. Might not work tomorrow, but it works today. There's the bunny. Hey, hey bunny, how you doing? Oh, what a cutie. This place is great. Okay, the rest of this number eight par four it says 176 playing about 168. Uh, the wind, I can feel it again. It's a cold wind coming off the ocean and it's dropped a couple of degrees. Now, honestly, just with these conditions and stuff below my feet, I feel like I should take a four hybrid, but I wanna work on this five iron a little bit more. So it's okay if this comes up short, I'd like to just aim for good contact and a smooth swing. I'm going to aim a little bit to the uh, left because it's below my feet. That'll make the ball want to kind of go that way a little bit. Oh, good contact, but it's going a little to the right. Okay, thankfully that was, you know, got up in the air and is gonna be a little bit short, so we should be safe. Okay, we're, we're pretty well short of the green. Good, uh, you know, 25 yards or so. Um, and that happens when you, you know, have a slicey kind of swing and it balloons up in the wind. That's what we call a weak fade. And it's sitting up in some grass here, although the ground feels pretty hard. I've got my 60, because I still wanna practice that. See if I can't. Give it kind of a soft bounce up there. Be a little bit more aggressive. I've been coming up short on a lot of these, just nervous, so I'm gonna be a little more aggressive with this. Oh! Mm. I mean, I got it, you know, a little too crisp. I swear that caught a piece of the cup. We've got a long way to go here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 feet. Uh, it's going to break right to left. And it's down the hill a bit, but 
again this green is growing nicely it's finally getting a little heat and it's uh, it's getting a little hairy which is nice but I don't know how to read the pot so I can't play it delicately let's see if we can get it close come on baby good putt can't feel down about a bogey when you almost hold the chip for birdie and you almost drain the lag okay we're on number nine here it's saying about 304 on my app up to the center of the green but this is way uphill we're climbing up the mountain again but it is just beautiful out there so see if we can ride the momentum of that last good drive and it'd be nice to send one up there nice and straight oh that is fading to the right but i think it's going to make it around the corner i think we're okay so here's my ball just off the path you know that was very close this corner cut a little earlier and there's still a lot of trouble there so I might have been a little overly confident, but thankfully, there's my Kirkland ball, we're safe, and we're gonna go up to that green. Okay, you can see this is the 100 yard marker, but I'm getting a read of uh, 120 to the pin with the slope. So even though it's colder temperatures, kind of needs an extra club, but I'm gonna just take a pitching wedge. I haven't hit this wedge in a while. I don't really wanna take a nine iron up there. I'd like to swing at one. And you know, the lie is sitting up a little bit. It's actually a good lie. I could take relief from this point because my heel's on the path. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm kind of staying off that foot a little bit anyway until it gets better. So let's swing this pitching wedge up there. See so if we can't get a little bit of power on it. Oh, I pulled it trying to hit it a little harder. I think we're gonna see a bunker shot. Don't! All right, distance was actually pretty good here. I've got to uh, really get it up quick. Not much green to work with. Sand is pretty soft and deep. So I'm gonna use a 60 in here. And hopefully I can get it up nice and soft and get under that ball. That is a fantastic bunker shot. Tap in for par. Make sure you rake your bunkers. Right, just a foot away, let's just tap it in with our wedge. Par, we had a two over, nine hole round. It's a beautiful course, I love it. All right, folks, so that's nine holes uh, on Admiral's Green at Pippi Park. There's another nine holes to go, but I'm gonna stick to my word, just wrap it up for today. I have a men's league uh, tournament tomorrow. Uh, so I want to be fresh for that and we'll cover the other nine another day in this early season You can see the beautiful clubhouse behind me. This is the 18th green out here and uh, I'm really happy about that round. I needed a good round because I've been You know messing it up a little bit lately and this is the way I feel like I should be playing uh, If not, this was a little bit better than than the average still a lot of things to work on swing changes to do luck was on my side as well but uh, it's encouraging and it's fun. And I hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with me for the ride. We'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>